An important weapon in the fight to save the lives of many COVID patients brought President Donald Trump to Metro Detroit this afternoon. He toured the Ford Rawsonville plant in Ypsilanti, where the automaker answered the call to build ventilators. The president says the U.S. now is a big stockpile of the machines, and many are being sent to countries in desperate need. He has high praise for Ford Motor Company. They do a great car, and they do, uh, they really did a great job on the ventilators. And I hear the, the quality of the ventilator has been really top of the line. Thank you, Mr. President. I really appreciate it, fellas. Before the visit, there was a lot of talk about whether the president would wear a mask today as required in Michigan. He says he did put one on in the back area, but, quote, didn't want to give the press the pleasure of seeing it. And as 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel found out today, the president's visit had clear political intentions as well. Brian, we say good evening to you. Good evening to you, Dave. Yeah, it shouldn't go unnoticed that this was a little bit of a victory lap for the president, not just for Ford Motor Company, for America's ability to change gears in production from cars like at the Ford plant here to ventilators. But that's happening at plants across the country. Yet the president chose to visit here in Michigan. President Trump landing in Michigan after recent trips to Phoenix, Pennsylvania and Florida all anticipated to be crucial swing states for 2020. You could be subject to being cited. Are you clear on that? Yes. With multiple protests in Lansing, the political tensions have been building for weeks in Michigan over the governor's and the president's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. Watch out, you might get COVID! On display again outside of Ford's Rawsonville plant in Ypsilanti, where the president was touring the plant's ventilator building operations. Michigan is hurting right now. We had the flooding in Midland. We've had over 5,000 deaths from the coronavirus. And Trump's coming to me, and he's making it all about him. Everything's about him. Your governor wants you to go home and stay there. Before the president's tour, a listening session with Metro Detroit African-American leaders, including Senate candidate John James, administration official previewing the talks with me Wednesday. A bipartisan effort uh, to see, you know, what is the pain that's going on in the community and, you know, how can we as an administration partner with, uh, with Detroit. Also ahead of his trip, this tweet from the president threatening to withhold funding for Michigan. As recent polls show approval ratings for handling the coronavirus more favorable for Governor Whitmer than the president in Michigan, both sides of the spectrum emphasizing that this trip is most certainly a political one in part. And I should add, I've covered a handful of presidential rallies with this president, and it felt, his speech here at the plant, felt like a political rally as well, talking about bringing back jobs, trade, the economy, all the way down to the music that was being played as the president left the stage. Reporting live in Amsterdam, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, thank you for the live report.